Hey guys, so it's extremely hot out right now and if I try and film a video for more than 10 minutes I start profusely sweating which is not something that anyone needs to see or deal with. So I thought I would do a little bit of a reading vlog instead with the book I am starting today. So I've been in a huge reading slump like I don't think I've read like finished a book in a couple months. I've picked them up but I haven't been able to like actually finish any of them unfortunately just because I don't have the attention span. I feel like and I know people do deal with this of like I just used to be able to read so many books remember the plot lines and get through them so quickly and be so invested in them and now I feel like I read a book and it's like my mind is in five different places I can't really focus on what the page is saying and stuff so I'm really hoping that this summer I can dive back into reading and loving it and getting through books and really devouring them like I used to. So today I am starting this bad baby. It is called You're Not Supposed to Die Tonight and it's by the author of Cinderella is Dead which is a book that I really really highly loved. I saw the cover for this actually. I again because I haven't been into books as much I haven't been keeping track of like what's coming out, what release dates and stuff like that except for like if I see them on Instagram or stuff. So I saw the cover for this and the title and I was like absolutely I need to read this tell me more so basically it's about this girl named Charity who works at like a murder mystery camp even though it's not really a mystery because you kind of know who the killer is every night but it's like a terror camp basically I don't think those exist in real life because that would be hard to probably get insurance wise right but like yeah it's one of those like haunted houses basically where they can like push you around and shove you and stuff like that and like you'll disappear until the end of the night and then everyone comes out and is like yay we did it blah 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 but Charity plays the final girl at this camp and is also kind of like in charge of the camp and what happens is at the end of the season I guess yeah the last weekend of the season her co-workers start disappearing and then one of them turns up dead and surprise surprise they have a real killer on their hands and they're trying to figure out who it is before you know there's none of them left to figure it out so I'm about like 20 pages into it right now we're starting to meet the characters aside from charity and I feel like obviously it's going to be someone that works at the camp because usually that's how it goes <laughs> but right now I feel like my money is on Porter which I feel like it's so early to try and call that but let me tell you why let me tell you why okay Porter is someone she trusts implicitly. She's like, I've grown so close to him. Like, he's so hardworking. He knows so much. And, like, he's such a good guy that I'm like, okay, that's suspicious right there. Because, like, you're going to trust him a lot and, like, obviously would write him off as soon as things start coming. And then this sentence that I just read, bombastic side eye when I read it. Because it says, <laughs> besides the fact that I like Porter as a person, he's probably the best hire we've ever made. He made a point to study the camp inside and out, especially the trails, and he knows them better than any of us. That's concerning, right? I feel like either he is going to be able to help them and like figure out ways to hide, or he's going to be able to hunt them down and track them one by one because he knows the camp more than anyone else. So yeah, that's who my money's on right now, but there's still more characters to meet. So let's get into it and see what happens. <laughs> chapter four which is only about 50 pages in but I didn't realize like it looks small obviously but it's only like 220 pages which honestly isn't that bad and is kind of probably the perfect like length for me right now. I do have to say I think one thing that Kaylin is doing very very well which I have to applaud is like building the suspense of having like a lot of like fake out moments like you know in like movies I feel like the screen movies do this very well where it's like you're so expecting that like when someone opens a door or like when they're facing you, you're just expecting like someone to be behind them. So they do a lot of fake out moments where like they'll open the fridge and you're like, oh, someone's going to be behind the fridge when they close the door. And then like the suspense builds, the music builds to get you all like tense and ready. And then it's like, 
like there's no one there so far the big thing is there's three kids missing and it's like no one's super worried because they've had kids that just like don't finish the season like it's a job so like some people just are like bye and like just leave without any word but there's obviously three kids missing there's also something weird going on with the lake where people keep hearing things and potentially seeing things but again they're all just kind of chalking it up to like you know it's a it's a spooky woods and stuff can get to you and stuff like that and then the latest thing is at I think it's the second to last one they're doing now before this big final event they have at the end of the season but the second to last one she just came by her friend Tasha who's like the last victim that you see who's always supposed to be like just laying there and she was explaining that like oh she like kind of overdid it with the blood and like her chest isn't even moving and like it looks like she's dead and she's just like wow she did a good job and now I'm like okay, did she actually do a good job or is she dead? <laughs> like, I feel like they're doing a good job of, like, it's not obvious of, like, oh, why wouldn't you, like, know immediately? Because there's other weird things that are happening that are then getting, like, resolved quickly. And it's like, oh, that makes sense why you wouldn't automatically jump to, like, wait, this thing's happening. I also just kind of made the connection, which was dumb on my part, but the description of it says that Charity discovers that there might be more to the story than she ever suspected. And they're talking about like local legends and stuff like that. And her girlfriend is really like creeped out by the whole place because she says like people in town talk about this like being like a weird place and like seeing things off season and stuff. And I just made the connection that the other books that Caitlin Byron writes are um, fantasy and like supernatural. So there obviously could be some connection where there's going to be some supernatural-esque element to it. I do feel like, again, it's kind of like a shorter book to throw that in all of a sudden, so maybe there won't be, but it just feels like there could be some kind of twist like that, so yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Day two. I got my thinking cap on. We're gonna figure out this mystery, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so chapter four is done and that was definitely the scariest strangest chapter yet like my far my favorite um a lady showed up at their thing being like hey this is not cool waving a gun around like chasing them singing creepy things like i'm gonna get you to them and they called the cop and the cop shows up and is just like what are you gonna do? You know, you've been kind of annoying her. She lives right next to you. This whole shindig is a little strange. So, um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take her out for dinner and then that's fine. And I'm just like, 
what? Like, this is so weird. Like, first of all, she's terrifying. And then also the vibe of like, the sheriff that shows up, first of all, is very different from what Charity said. He's like the first couple times she's met him, which makes me wonder, body snatchers. And second of all, it makes me wonder if there's something more sinister happening in this town than we initially thought. It is like a sleepy town and Charity didn't know that someone lives so close to the camp, which makes me think maybe she doesn't actually and they're just trying, like the whole thing is like, this camp is like full of actors, right? So it's like, it wouldn't be surprising if someone was trying to play like, not even a prank, but like just get back at them by acting like, oh, like we've lived here forever. Oh, I'm the sheriff and like isn't actually, but like just the thought of like someone coming up and attacking you and then the sheriff being like, it's fine guys. Like you've been kind of annoying her. What did you expect? Like that's really scary because now I can see it'll make sense if they don't call the cops when stuff starts happening because it's going to be like, well, the cops did nothing last time. So we'll see. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you are watching this, today's day four of reading. I read a lot yesterday. I didn't actually record it because I woke up and my eye was like swollen all day and no one needs to see that. It was not pretty to look at, but because of that, I couldn't really do anything but read. So I got through like 70 pages. And let me tell you, those 70 pages changed the entire trajectory of the book. Like we're talking zero to 60 very quickly. Like before that it was kind of, you know, your, not your average, but like, you know, things are getting a little spooky. People are missing, you're hearing weird noises, stuff like that. And you're kind of like, okay. And then I feel like we got to the point probably halfway where I was like, now's the time I would leave. Like there's this character Javier that's supposed to be like super like selfish and everyone's like, you're such an awful person because whenever they want to go out in the woods and look for people, he's like, yeah, I don't want to do that. I think we should just stay here and like hunker down or leave. And they're like, no, our friends are out there. We can't just leave them. And you're an awful person for wanting to leave them. And I'm like, mm, actually, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? You all without any weapons are gonna do to help your three friends that are missing. Like if anything, go get help and then come back. Cause I feel like whatever happened to your friends, probably already happened right so I just think it's so funny that like th the beginning of the book is like they're like we're not gonna do this like there's like weird noises I'm not gonna go shower at night like I'm not stupid and then it's like all this stuff is happening and I'm like I would be out of here so quickly so quickly and I guess like you do have to kind of make dumb decisions to like you know continue this because again if you were just like bye I'm leaving at the first sign of like something weird there wouldn't be a story. So three of them walked off into the woods to go talk to the creepy lady that was threatening them with a gun because they want to learn more about this summer camp that supposedly was there before. And now three of them are behind and wondering where those three are because again, they left to go in the woods to find the lady with the gun. So yeah, that's especially where we'd be like, no, let's go get help and then we'll come back. But they're like, no, no, we should go in the woods now that it's closer to nighttime and try and find them. And I'm like, Okay, you let me know how that works for you. So that was getting creepy. And then now it's like full on into this like cult stuff of like, they're walking into people with like huge owl costumes. And it's, it's to the point where I cannot read this at night anymore. Okay, I'm scared. Mom, come pick me up. Like it, it's over. <laughs> so it reminds me a lot actually of the quarry that video game obviously thank goodness except without having to make choices that affect the story because it takes the pressure off but I feel like it's kind of that like summer camp vibe and then there's obviously like some kind of family cult drama that's going on that like these kids just stumbled into but are like slowly realizing what's happening and then I also feel like again the uh leave leave like you should leave I feel like in the quarry something happened right where they couldn't leave like the car was broke or whatever so maybe something will happen like that but um at least they had the thought to leave like no one's been like hey we should leave except Javier and then they're like mm, actually that's a super selfish decision of you so I don't know we'll see a lot of them too like for so much of it, I was like waiting for someone to turn up dead, right? Because like even in the description it says like, oh, people go missing and someone turns up dead. It's not till more than halfway that someone finally turns up dead. And even then it's like so, not anticlimactic, but it's just like none of the people they're with are like actually getting killed. Like they just like disappear and then they find them dead later, which I don't know how I feel about that because I feel like it kind of takes away some of the scariness and it's also s like the same thing like over and over again of like oh we found this person now we found this person and it's like okay like at a certain point I'm just expecting everyone so I, f I want like a little more action that way but I do feel like I said the action is getting 
crazy in terms of like what they're stumbling into and stuff is just like oof, oof. If, uh, if I had a camping trip planned it would be cancelled immediately you know what I mean we did not finish it yesterday there was a lightning storm and I got scared so today's the day let's do it <laughs> me coming to do a little check-in there's just something so funny about the villain saying i will make this land run red with the blood of a thousand camp counselors children adults anyone as if like the three stages of life are children adult and camp counselor <laughs> like 70 pages are freaking crazy y'all because like I said it's like typical like horror kind of I mean good but like typical like things are going a little creepy you're like what exactly is going on right now and then the last like 50 pages is just bats crazy to the wall like chases stabbing people arrows in the face fighting back like those were definitely my favorite chapters of like them like fighting back. I still feel like it didn't make complete sense that they like actually stayed around and tried to help as mean as that is. I definitely also feel like the twist with Kyle being part of it, I kind of started coming in a way because I feel like I was suspicious of him when 
they first went to the house and he was the one that disappeared I feel like that made me suspicious of him because it was just like weird that he just like disappeared and then I also feel like there's also a twist so like I was kind of suspecting one of them to be the killer and they were in a way I think the ending is what's gonna keep me thinking for a while because it's like on one hand I think it's such a great ending and it's so perfect but on the other hand I'm like did it really work because I feel like every time you see like media or something where it's like someone's brought back like 99% of the time it does not work especially when it's been that long since they died and it was a year in this case for charity how's she gonna get a job she doesn't have a social security number anymore how is she gonna do anything in life and like I don't I don't know it's just like she's been at the bottom of the lake for a year dead and now she's just like good and ready to go like I find that a little a little I'm worried about that that like she won't be the same person she was you know it'll be like she always kind of has this claw on her that like is not living so worried about that but other than that wow this book was fantastic it's creepy it's scary it's gory it's horror I would give it four out of five stars if I'm rating it like I said my favorite chapters were definitely the ones where charity and Basie were like running and trying to get away and running through the tunnels and fighting back and stuff i think that was just so cool and so awesome i do think a lot of like the reveals happen so quick that you kind of really couldn't appreciate them for what they fully are like they happened so close to the end and then it was kind of like this thing now this thing now this person's this and this person's that that you're kind of just getting like whiplash like i think we could have explored it a little more or maybe even had them kind of start to find out a little bit more about what these secret societies were and then they start to put the pieces together and then like they finally talk to someone who knows more about it but it was really good it was really scary and yeah I'm just excited to see what she cooks up next because I feel like she's a really great author and I feel like this you can see like her love of horror movies through this because it's just so well done and so unputdownable and so scary so yeah if you have read the book or are interested in reading it let me know what you thought down below if you saw any of the twists coming with people like that and if you would like to see more of these reading vlogs first book I finished in like over a month I think so I'm incredibly happy with that and I'm incredibly happy that it was such a good book and I just yeah you really feel like you're reading a movie honestly like that's what it feels like like just all this crazy stuff happening and scary stuff and I do think the end was so great especially in terms of like the character development for how she started of like wanting to like take care of the the dead animals and like super sensitive and now like this is what has happened to her is like she's gonna get revenge and in the best way possible so I loved it I think it was really good and yeah I'm excited to see what you all thought about it so let me know what you thought down below in the comments make sure to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more reading stuff like I said because I do want to start getting more reviews up and stuff like that once I actually start reading uh thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time bye